what Spo is all about because he's damn good, if not great. Probably is great because it's, pepper, it's preparation. He prepares like it's his last time ever coaching again every game. And I know that. Listen, we got to pay homage to Eric Spolstra, Coach Spo out of the Miami Heat, that culture. Listen, he has made nothing but history. Um, the Heat extend Eric Spolstra. You know, um, Spo agrees to an eight-year, $120 million plus dollar deal. Most committed money to a coach in NBA history. This is being reported by everybody, ladies and gentlemen. This is big business, you know, and I'm going to keep it 100 with you. He deserves it. You know, a lot of coaches, they get this, they get that. I know that we're going to look at Monty. We're going to break things down. But Coach Spo is the best coach in the game today, point blank, period. We just got to call it how we see it. We talk about a guy who could define errors. You know, not only did um, Coach Spo do amazing things, you know, with Dwayne Wade, then getting the big three, Bosh, we're going to break it all down. But I think it's what he has done after them, you know, has really defined his legacy. And that's what I get the most respect from him. Um, we, Like I said, he started off as a video guy. We're going to break it down. Um, this is a big day. The Miami Heat have agreed to a new contract extension with head coach Eric Spolstra, y'all. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe for more news updates and more. Man, um, previously, um, it, it was wild. People thought that Spo was going to get like $10 plus million or kind of shit like that. But to be honest with you, this makes him the top paid head part of me. This makes him one of the top paid head coaches. Excuse me. Um, this is the domino effect from Monty Williams record setting contract. Um, and like I said, we just going to see big numbers from here on out. Um, in May, uh, Williams agreed to a six year, seventy eight point five million dollar deal with the Detroit Pistons. It sent shockwaves around the whole world. You know, um, it was the largest contract in NBA history and one that made the 52-year-old the highest-paid head coach in the league. Then Popovich reportedly received a new five-year, $80 million um, contract from the San Antonio Spurs, um, who are looking for him to help nurture and develop the number one pick, Victor Wimbenyama. The $8.5 million the Heat had been paying Spolster annually looked like a complete steal. I just got to keep it 100 when you started to see all that money adding up. I'm pretty sure, you know, he was just like, oh, man, I can't wait till it's my day, you know, because he going to set the bar, you know. Um, and a lot of people believe that Spo um, and, you know, Steve Kerr could command anywhere from $20 plus million. This is what a lot of people was reporting. You know, um, headed into this season, Spolstra, he's 53, has already considered one of the NBA's best coaches. Perhaps um, people want to throw a, throw it up in the air between him and Pop. But to be honest with you, I don't think there's no question. Like I said, we haven't if – you, if you're just looking at Coach Pop, like I said, we all know the chips. And these two, they went at it. Um, but what has happened after Duncan and all of them left? You know, um, nothing. You know, um, you see what's going on in Miami. We could talk about East, West. Miami, like, you're talking about a team from the playing, you know, going all the way to the finals. And it's because of this culture. Who's frontlining this culture? You can't say D. Wade. You can't say LeBron anymore. You know, it's Coach Spo. Obviously, Riley. Riley empowers this man. A lot of people thought that, you know, a lot of people thought that Riley was going to eventually take over for Miami, even when they had the big three, when it would have probably been the most, you know, you know, sought after job, you know, especially for Pat to come and get another chip real quick, sit back down, you know, because um, they was for sure going to win at least one. So what did he do? He said, no, 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 no. The, the head coach of this team is Eric Spolstra. So they took all that out you know, of that Spo is not going anywhere. They're going to have to make it work with Coach Spo. And you've seen LeBron James, just like I said, he just, uh, he, he, couldn't, he couldn't fathom that situation. 
you know, um, and he had to make it work with a guy, I think, in another organization would have had booted, you know, but give credit to the Heat. And a lot of people look at LeBron James. And I, like I said, I love the, the shine, the magnifying on LeBron because we talk about LeBron not being, he never was coached by this. He never had the players. He never had, he did have a great head coach and his name was Eric Spolstra. You know, um, and I believe if he would have stayed with Miami, they would have won multiple. He would have probably got to the sixth ring already by now. The Heat already went twice already and lost to him on one of them. So um, clearly, with they, if they would have had LeBron, it would have been a different makeup. But they would have retooled. You know, LeBron seen the writing on the wall. Wade knees was shot. Bosh had issues um, coming down the pipeline. Um, and he got up out of there. But he should have trusted Pat Riley. You know, he would have put pieces around him to get back. And I firmly believe that because if you look at Pat, they just drafted a, a nice player, um, Jaime Jaquez Jr. He came out of nowhere. A lot of people view him as the steal of the draft. So Coach Spo is able to maximize every asset on this roster. And I think it deserves major props, major credit. He's really that good. Um, and he's is synonymous with the Heat. We just got to call it how we see it. Um, Eric Spoelstra is a Heat lifer. You know, he won't be going anywhere. He's never even entertained going anywhere, you know. Um, so let's see if Miami can pull off another Herculean run. It's all messed up because. Once they um they they get there and then it seems like they can't fully do the job. They don't have all of the necessary things to truly get to the promised land. It's like they come up a little short. The West teams got a little too much. You know, they tried to go for the juggler this year. They tried to go for, for Dame and they struck out. You know, I think all of that, that's one thing I, I hate about Spo. He couldn't get a chip. And I know that's his goal. That's what he fight. He want to win a championship outside of that big three era, you know. And I'm going to be honest with you, even if he never does, he's got the respect of LeBron. He got the respect of all these people who thought he was this, thought he was that. You know, he can put, listen, he deserves every penny of this money. And they should have gave him more, you know. Um, so this is a record-breaking contract. Um like I said, this is an eight-year contract extension. He's going to be around for another regime of the Heat, even after he's going to be there after you see Butler in them. So he's going to be around. So you see him going to the finals with all these different teams and errors, you know, um, being competitive. Um, that's one thing that he's going to – he's a champion at heart, point-blank period. And I got nothing but respect for Coach Spo. His flight sports TV. Congratulations to him, his family, and the Miami Heat. Let's get in the comments section and let's politic this. You already know what it is. Peace and love. Shout out to Spo, Million Dollar Man, the Million Dollar Man. It's flight sports TV.